In archives scattered around the globe, old manuscripts can be found piled up to the ceiling and spread out as far as the eye can see. The amount of writing produced on physical media since antiquity is staggering, and very little of it is available to scholars and the public. New efforts to take high-resolution digital photographs of manuscripts are helping to open up this material to interested audiences. But that's only the first step towards a deeper engagement with our past. While the photos are beautiful to look at, wouldn't it be even better if the texts within them were a bit more accessible, perhaps searchable and translatable into modern languages on the fly? With so much material passed down to us through the ages, though, it's impossible to do these things by hand. There simply aren't enough paleographers on the planet to make a dent in the work. Enter artificial intelligence. Advances in machine learning technology now allow us to transcribe digital images into digital text, which can be processed more easily for different applications. The machine serves as a digital paleographer, working tirelessly to produce an entire digital edition of a text in a matter of minutes. The Artificial Intelligence Laboratory at the University of Notre Dame has been developing new algorithms specifically for the advancement of cultural heritage. My research is combining the methods of visual psychophysics from psychology with artificial neural networks from computer science. I'm studying human reading ability so I can train neural networks to be more consistent with the behavior of people as they attempt to read the same text. But these aren't familiar languages. I've been working with medieval Latin manuscripts from the Abbey of St. Gall in Switzerland and Gaiz manuscripts from the Gundagundi Monastery in Ethiopia. This means that I have to collaborate with expert readers of those languages. Fortunately, we have a number of them here at Notre Dame and at our partner institutions. Training the machine to better understand which individual characters used in scripts for these languages are easy to recognize and which are hard has advanced the state of the art in machine transcription. The software I've written that makes use of my trained neural networks is now helpful to scholars in the humanities. It's been fun working with students from the different humanities units on campus, like the Medieval Institute and the Department of Classics. I've learned a lot from them about old languages, and they've learned a lot from me about machine learning. The value of this new technology to the field of medieval studies is clear. It makes large manuscript collections available to scholars at a pace we couldn't have even dreamed of a decade ago. It also brings the public into dialogue with a past that they likely aren't familiar with but can learn from and appreciate. I've been nothing but impressed with the results coming out of this project. There is an increasing emphasis on digital humanities within medieval studies. Algorithms are opening up new modes of inquiry into questions that have long been asked. The interdisciplinarity of this project reflects the type of scholarship that Notre Dame really excels at. By working with the Department of Computer Science and Engineering, our students and postdocs are gaining valuable digital skills that they can incorporate into their own research. We're just scratching the surface of what can be done with artificial intelligence in the humanities. My laboratory is continuing to develop better ways to learn from data that will allow us to examine different artifacts, languages, and writing styles. What about Hebrew phylacteries? Or Arabic writing on ceramics? Or classical Chinese calligraphy? There's an entire globe's worth of history out there for us to explore. We're going to be busy.